Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be turning this 200 year old, small, moldy, cracked, falling apart, ugly bedroom with this abnormally high and ugly wardrobe that was literally twice the size of me. Here's what my granddad had to say when we first saw it together. Can you just pass me something from the top, yeah. please, Megan? You have to climb up. <laughs> Into this beautiful, bright, cozy, minimalist, fairy, vine vibes bedroom. And I'm so excited to share this because this was not easy, okay? This was a very hard <laughs> project that I literally felt like giving up multiple times. So grab some popcorn, grab some tea, and let's get started. And the one thing that I absolutely hate looking at is this goddamn wardrobe. So I think today, we should get rid of it. I'm absolutely terrified because this thing is very big. <gasps> okay, I genuinely had no idea what I was doing, but my gut feeling told me that I needed to take the doors down first. <gasps> I got rid of the door. <laughs> oh, it smells like old people in here. It smells really dusky. After I took off the doors, I found out that the wardrobe at the top was separate from the bottom, so I decided to take it down. But this was my first problem because the shelves were so heavy and they were so high that I actually couldn't bring them down on my own. I have an idea. I don't know if it is a good idea, but it is an idea. Spider in here too. Great. Just let it go, Megan. Let it go. Yeah. Who got rid of it? I did. Oh, that almost broke my bed, huh? Then the next day, I started working on the bottom of the wardrobe. First, starting off with removing the metal racks inside, which proved to be quite difficult because the person who built this stupid wardrobe put a dent in the nail and I actually couldn't grip it to turn, so it made my life very hard. But anyways, once I got the remaining doors and shelves down, the rest was a piece of cake. They like pancaked onto each other. I tore down some wallpaper because they were just begging to be torn down, look at that. And then I brought as much as I could to the tip and on the way home, I went to B&Q, which is the UK's equivalent of Home Depot, and I grabbed some wall filler and paint because we're about to fix the nastiness on the walls. So the next day, I started off with removing the stuff that was holding the mirror on the wall, as you can see there, which proved so difficult because the nails were being held by these weird plastic things. They were so hard to remove that I needed to grab pliers, but even with pliers, it was just ripping off like that. But eventually, we got there. But look at this little climax of red sand. Ew. Like, what is that? I don't even know. And the other nail was even worse. It was so tight in the hole that I needed to, to get a hammer to get hammered out. And it was so bad, I literally made a hole within a hole in the wall. So after I finally removed the thing that was holding up the mirror, I actually found a lot of these little weird holes with these plastic things in it. So I took them down and then I proceeded to take down the remaining wallpaper, which just left this weird styrofoam underneath. And there was so much dust and just, I don't even know what it was underneath the styrofoam that I had to put on goggles and a mask because it was getting in my eyes. I decided to call it a day after I got to the second wall and I built my new clothes rail from Ikea since I didn't have a wardrobe anymore. Then a couple days later, I went back to Ikea because it was the start of school, September 2022. I know I posted this vlog last year, but I went looking for a new desk setup. So I got a new desk. I got um, a chair. I actually got it secondhand. And then I got a bunch of things from Amazon. So I'll share them in the description and I'll show you at the end what it looks like. And then an even more a few months later, and I really mean months later, like I literally put this video on hold. I just focused on school and you're probably wondering how on earth could I have lived in this mess? 
for that many months and the answer is it's kind of sad but i grew up in like a hoarder home when i was younger so i just got really used to accepting mess um so i sort of just accepted it but i'm starting to change obviously because of this video but yeah anyways a few months later i started to rework on the room again i got rid of all the styrofoam on the walls um except i ran into a problem with the third wall so it was actually a different material than the other three the other three were stone and this one was like plaster i think so i had to use actual wallpaper remover because it was stuck and i had no styrofoam underneath it was awful it was weird to remove because the top there was a decorative wallpaper but then underneath there was like this weird yellow thing that was on top of the wall which was the red part and it was so hard to remove i genuinely couldn't do it okay so it has been officially nine months and i still have these wardrobe doors in my house because they're so tall that i couldn't fit them in my car so today my granddad's coming over we're gonna try to cut them down and finally get rid of them because i have not you guys been able to open my door properly when i open it it like cuts off here and i have to like squeeze my way in if i have groceries and stuff i think we have three here no so there's four wardrobe doors here and then i have three here oh, i'm so excited to get rid of them this has been so annoying it's looked so ugly Look who's just arrived! So what's the scoop today? I will try it me mechanically, but I bought me brought my old handsaw along just in case. Sorry, don't mind me because I'm literally wearing no makeup right now. But I've officially finished stripping down all the walls. So everything is all done. But there's a little problem. It's not just like a really easy fix where, okay, now that I stripped the walls, I can paint. No. I have to now fill in the holes, those little things that I ripped out of the walls. And I also realized after i took off the wallpaper that the actual skirting board is cracked look at this how gross is this so i have to use filler today i've never used it before but wish me luck I was actually starting to get the hang of this until I came across the hole that I made in the wall earlier. Ah! No! 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 Stay in there, thank you. Oh no! No! Oh, okay. I'm not joking, it probably took me a good 20 minutes to fill it, but I eventually did. Mwahaha. And then I took a tiny break to let Carl look outside the window because he's just so darn cute. And then afterwards, I started to fill in the skirting board, which was actually pretty easy to fill other than the fact that it kept filling into the hole. But after I finally put like a layer on top, I just used my finger to smooth it over and it actually looks pretty good. Does it say how to open? Do I really need to Google this right now? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to Google this. Just gradually move. Oh, I got it! <laughs> Yay, so we're finally painting and the first part of the bedroom I'm painting is the ceiling. I just got paint in my eye. Can you see it? I gotta go wash that out one second. Goggles it is. <laughs> I don't know why, but I assumed that painting the ceiling would be really fast and easy, but it was actually so hard. It took me about three hours because I had to stop and use this tiny little brush to get the corners. And I also painted the skirting board at the same time. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? That looks a lot better than before. I don't know how this has taken me three hours, but it's taken me three hours. <laughs> That was so hard because these ceilings are so high like I can't even fit it all in one frame I'll show you. This is the floor, right? This is me And then this is the ceiling <laughs> You probably won't even see me in frame I'm 5'2 like how tall is this? I literally have to do this put it at the end 
and then like go on my tippy toes. I can just barely reach. Uh, uh. Oh. Then the next day I sanded the walls. I was originally just gonna sand down the filler I put on, but the wall with the window really needed a good sand. Like look at the change of color. I didn't know that this wall was white. <laughs> And here's the aftermath. It looks like it was snowing. So anyways, while I was sanding, I found some holes in the wall, so I quickly just filled them in. And while I was waiting for them to dry, I tried to remove the stubborn wallpaper on that weird plaster material wall. And it took me an hour just to do this section, so I decided I would just sand the difference down and hope that my paint makes it not noticeable. And then on that wall in the back, I was shocked to find after I filed everything down, it was still rough because the actual material was like cement, like you know like a pavement on the sidewalk? It was so bumpy and rough. I, d I literally didn't know what to do. I was so annoyed. So a few days later, I didn't really film this part, but I filled in the wall and I tried my best to just sand down as much as I could, um, which was actually okay. I mean, the wall still looks really bad, but it looks a lot better than it did before. And then a few days later, after I cleaned down the walls, I finally started painting because I just really didn't care anymore. So I'm just using this base coat first. And as I predicted, you couldn't notice the wallpaper once I put the paint on, so thank goodness it worked and I didn't have to remove this wallpaper. And as you may have predicted, everything was fine until we got to this wall because once I painted, there were literal holes everywhere because the surface was not smooth. So I sat there for like maybe an hour or two just finger painting the holes which kind of made them not look noticeable you know i just literally said f it if you leave this video with one thing it's never take down wallpaper because you don't know what someone's hiding underneath just let it be you'll save so much time so anyways after the base coat dried i ended up putting the first coat of my paint on which is this beautiful cream color fortunately after i finger painted you didn't notice those holes so hopefully no one ever notices it and then um after six hours of it drying i ended up just doing a second coat and i worked until 11 p.m at night i put on some scarface which i never washed before and it was a good time i was just so happy for the walls to be painted so after that dried a few weeks later, yes, I know it doesn't take a few weeks to dry, but I was busy, okay? I tackled the windowsill, which was cracking. It had that weird yellow wallpaper that was literally impossible to remove. So I just scraped it, sanded it down, and hoped for the best. So then I took down the rail and I started to paint. This paint was really smelly. It was meant for wood and I had to wear a mask and everything. I felt pretty legit. But anyways, as I started painting, I realized I should have filled in the windowsill because even after painting, it looked so bad. Like you could literally see it's just dense. But at this point, I just didn't care. I just was so satisfied with painting it. I just didn't care. And then I did the skirting boards, which was also just felt like a big relief because they were so discolored. Painting the skirting boards really makes the room just look so much more clean. Then a few days later, after the paint smell went away and everything was all dried, it was now time to decorate. So I'm starting off with the light bulbs. And yes, I know they're hella dirty. I'm so excited to clean them, but only one of the light bulbs worked. So I had to go out and get five. So I originally bought these neutral colored lights, which actually look really nice on camera, but in real life, they made me feel really uncomfortable. I don't know how to explain it. So I returned them and got yellow lights, which look absolutely awful on camera, but made me feel really relaxed in real life. Is that weird? I don't know. Then it was time to replace these moldy, kind of not see-through, but it let a lot of light in blinds with some new blackout ones. Ooh, nice. So then, as you may have seen in one of my previous recent vlogs, I went to Ikea and I bought myself a duvet bed sheet covers because the ones that I had were really old, like Brighton old. Um, wait, if you don't get that, I, I used to live in Brighton. But anyways, here I am adding some new lace curtains to 
the window. I also have these little fairy lights that I thought were really pretty. I just wrapped them on the outer and the middle section just so I could still open the blinds. And then on the windowsill, I thought it'd be really cute to put some candles there. So I got these battery operated ones from Amazon, which are just so cute. They don't have any batteries in it. I need to go buy it, but yeah. And then onto the desk setup. So I'm adding this cute little mouse pad that I got from Amazon. And I tried my best to rearrange everything, but something just felt really off. So I'll show you what I did at the end. And then for the desk, I bought this egg chair because I heard they're super comfortable. I like that it's really small and it's also white, so it matches my desk really nicely. Woo! Then at the base of my clothing rail, I added some books and another battery operated candle. And then at the top, I added some vines just to like bejazz it a little bit so it's kind of bare here. And then I added this cute little side table for only seven pounds from Ikea, which is crazy. And on top of it, I added this Himalayan salt lamp and this tropical plant, which I don't recommend to get a salt lamp because they leak. I didn't know that, but yeah, it's really gross. So I also added some books that I'm currently reading, this cute little rose quartz that I bought with my granddad last weekend at this cool cave. And then using some damage free hooks, I added some vines to the top of the ceiling. I mean, ceiling, there's no top of the ceiling. Just to give it some personality, but to be honest, it kind of looks ugly. And it really accentuates how small my room is, so I might take it down. But anyways, I then vacuumed and realized just how badly I ruined the carpet. It is now filled with paint and wall filler, so that's great. That's gonna have to be changed, but not in this video. So afterwards, I was feeling pretty good with what I had done, but something just seemed off with the lighting, so I swapped the Himalayan salt lamp with the desk lamp. And then I added these cute little fairy lights that I got from Amazon for only three pounds. And I just feel like it gave it such a cute, cozy dream vibe. That is so dreamy. Look at this. How cozy. I then brought up my favorite part of my room, which is this yucca tree or yucca tree. I don't know how you pronounce it. I just think it looks so cool and tropical, um, but I didn't know where to put it. So I kind of just like place it around everywhere until I found a spot. But once I found a spot, I felt like the wall had like too much going on. Like it was quite heavy. So I ended up moving my desk to the other wall, which is facing the window, just to like balance it out a little bit. And then I also felt the rug, or not the rug, the floor was too dark. So I added this white rug to like bring some whiteness there. And then on the wall, I added my little YouTube plaque. And then just to balance it out with the Himalayan salt lamp, I added this light from Amazon. Oh, and I also added that cheese plant too. I didn't film that. But yeah, anyways, after this experience, I actually have so much respect for interior designers because this is an actual science that I truly don't understand. Like, I tried my best, but I like it. It's cozy, it's cute, it's minimal. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and got like some inspiration. Um, I don't normally do these kind of videos, but it was really fun making it. Like not the actual work, cause that was pretty hard, but like the editing and things like that and the filming. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Sorry again that this video took so long to post, but hope it was worth it. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!